What's going on everyone? Welcome back to yet another review video of the Hay Bike Ranger. This is the updated version, the step through version of their Hay Bike Mars. There's some updates they made to this, but today we're going to be putting it through its tests, testing it out on some hills, seeing what kind of power this bike has, what kind of speed it has. This is supposed to be a little bit faster than the Hay Bike Mars. The step over height on this bike is only about 16 inches, so really easy to get on and off this bike. They did send me this bike for testing and review, but as always guys, as you know in all my videos, we're going to be putting it through its paces today and seeing what it can do. I'll leave a coupon code down below and an affiliate link to this bike if you guys are interested. I don't think my coupon code will work during their Black Friday sales, but it should work after that. All right guys, the first thing I want to mention is these handlebars are nice and wide. You have a really good width on there for being able to control the bike. And these are 31.8 millimeters in the center, which is really nice. They're not small where they mount. That's really nice for being able to upgrade these to other handlebars in the future if you needed to, like swept back bars or whatnot. First thing I want to show you in here in the settings, if you hold down the plus and minus, that takes you into where you could reset your trip. TC is trip clear. So you hit the button on top on the side here. That goes into there, trip clear, yes. Hit the button on top of the side again, and it will clear your trip. If you hold down the plus and minus again, that takes you into your advanced settings. Now, sometimes it looks like you can uh, change some of these things. Sometimes it doesn't make a difference. Sometimes it does. Maybe we'll try some of them out later on. SCA is where you could change your different pedal assist levels. So it comes factory set from zero to three. You can go in there and change each level of that pedal assist. So level one is set at 50, two is at 70, and three is at 100, but you can also change that from zero to three all the way up to zero to nine if you want nine different levels of assist. So that's a lot of adjustability there with the PAS levels. We're gonna leave it on the factory setting of zero to three. I'll probably change that to zero to five later on. That's usually what how all my other bikes are. A lot of these I'm not gonna change password, but we're, I'm not gonna change any of those other ones for now. Usually I have to look at the manual to see what they are because I, I forget what every setting is. But let's start out here in pedal assist zero. I wanna show you guys that this is where they changed it on all their newer bikes, all their newer shipments, even on the new Mars shipments and the Cityscape shipments. The PAS, when I did the review on those other two bikes, and if you guys haven't seen them, make sure you guys check them out. The throttle only worked in PAS zero. Now the throttle does not work in PAS zero. You have to be in one of the pedal assist levels either one through three or one through nine, however you have it set for the throttle to work. Some bikes do it like this. Some bikes let it work in zero all the way through the levels. That would have been really nice to see here. My Rad One Up bike is like that, which it's an excellent feature to have it on zero and all the levels. But hey, some people like it one way, some people like it the other. So let's go ahead, throttle only, starting out here and see what speed one can do. So the speedometer looks pretty accurate at 12 miles per hour on GPS, 12.4 on the display so at 50 percent that'll get you around 12 miles an hour now like i said you can go in there and adjust that down we'll probably do that later just to show you uh, if you were riding with someone else on a different brand of bike or a different or just a regular bike you might want to tone that down some say to 30 percent to match their speed but that's really nice that you can match speed of other bikes so let's go down this hill here we'll test out the braking and then when we get on a longer level stretch we'll test out the other PAS levels and see what kind of speed this bike can do it's supposed to go 25 miles per hour the hay bike Mars was only capable of going 20 miles per hour so I'm really curious to see if this bike is any faster than the Mars like they say it is so it does look like the throttle was limited by the PAS levels too as well guys because I was only able to hit 12 miles per hour with the throttle when I was in level one so you will not have full throttle unless you're in the highest PAS level. Brakes seem pretty good, a little bit of squeak there. They are mechanical disc brakes with 160 millimeter rotors in both the front and the rear of the bike. Stopping pretty decent, not as good as hydraulic, but not too bad. All right, so let's try this straight stretch out here with PAS2, and we will see what kind of speed we get out of two. Fairly level here, guys, maybe just a slight incline. 
So I believe two was at 70% and you could see it's about 18 miles per hour on GPS, 17 now and 17 on the display. So very accurate on the speed setting on there. I believe they have the tire size set at 23 inches. You could probably adjust that if you needed to, to dial everything in perfectly, but it looks pretty good out of the box. So I'm gonna go ahead and pedal here and we're gonna go up this little incline. Again, still only in pedal assist two. Let's bump it up to three here, going up this incline. That'll give me full power. So far, no problems, right up this little incline. Let's do some throttle only in PAS3. Oh yeah, pulling me right up at no problem, 17 miles per hour. The first thing you guys should know, if you want to get one of these bikes and you already own the Mars, the batteries between the two bikes are not interchangeable. The, the one on this bike is a 15 amp hour, the one on the Mars is a 12.5 amp hour battery. And this one is slightly taller than the one on the Mars. So the mounting bracket doesn't allow you to lock in the battery. That would have been nice if they were able to somehow make it compatible with, you, with each other. Cause for like me, I have both bikes. It would have been nice to be able to use both batteries on a long trip. Now I'll grant you, this is a 15 amp hour battery and you are gonna be able to go a pretty good distance on it. So that is nice that they upgraded the size on that, but that's just something to keep in mind. If you were thinking of getting this bike, have the other one and wanted to be able to swap the batteries. So the weight on this bike is a little bit heavier. It's 70 and a half pounds for the bike with the battery. One thing, I'm glad they kept the suspension seat post on this bike. Now the lever for flipping that seat up was down a little bit too far in my opinion so i just bent it back up to allow me to keep the seat all the way down when i'm riding if i want to the seat height on this bike for the minimum seat height with the suspension seat post is about an inch lower than the hay bike cityscape step through so if you think that hay bike cityscape is a little bit too tall for you this one might be a little bit better because it is about an inch shorter at the minimum seat height. And then you could always put a non-suspension seat post in there if you need a lower, lower seat height to the ground than what this offers. So four inch fat tires. Let's check this bike out off-road a little bit and see how it does. Uh-oh, we have a tree down. I guess I'm not gonna be going too far. <laughs> Scratch that idea, guys. <laughs> I think there's another little off-road trail down here. All right, guys, we're coming up on a pretty straight stretch here, so we're gonna see what throttle only and pedal assist three will do. So this will be the max speed with throttle. 20, 21, 22, 23, 23. About 23 miles per hour on level. Now let's just, let's start pedaling. Let's let off the throttle and just pedal and see if we can go any faster with just pedal assist. So 24, 23, I would say 23 to 24 miles per hour top speed. So definitely faster than the Hay Bike Mars. The cadence is pretty fast when you're at top speed. Anything over 20 miles per hour is gonna feel like you're almost running out of pedal. So that would have been nice if they would have put a different freewheel on here, but almost all bikes use this freewheel for uh, basically for a 20 mile an hour bike. But that's something that could probably be upgraded. So any kind of incline, you're not gonna maintain that speed though, guys. Like right here, already down to 17 miles an hour. 
because of the incline you're only going to get 24 on level ground and i'm 160 to 165 pounds so if you're a heavier rider you might not get that speed as quick as me if you're lighter it might get a little bit faster let's see what kind of speed we can maintain going up this hill here i'm in gear seven pas3 about 12 miles per hour so not too bad guys 13 maintaining a pretty good speed up this incline not super steep but it's a steady incline for a pretty good distance here so now we're going to go try this on a steeper hill one of the steepest hills in my town see how it does up that and then we're going to do it on a longer hill before i get back to my house to see how it maintains if it starts to cut power if it maintains it so see you guys in a few minutes. All right guys, so let's go over some of the specs and features of this bike. So on the front, we do have a pretty decent front suspension. There's a lockout button on the right-hand side and a preload on the left. However, there is no clicks for adjustment on that lockout. So it's a little bit of a cheaper suspension fork, but it's the same one as their Mars. And you can see here, coupled with the four inch fat tires, is really nice and smooth. And this suspension seat post, like I said, I'm glad they kept that because it's really nice for hitting those bumps that you don't have to upgrade that. So this bike comes with a 15 amp hour battery, which is a nice upgrade from the 12 and a half amp hour battery that the Hay Bike Mars uses. So up here on the handlebars, you have your controller here, which I showed you a little bit about earlier when I went and changed those settings. Up and down for your PAS levels, power button right here. You have a mode button here and on and off headlight here. However, that does not control the headlight. This button here does. This turns your headlight on and off and this is a horn that horn is pretty loud it's really nice for when you're on the road it might scare some people on the bike trail the hand grips on this bike are pretty nice faux leather hand grips they lock on really good they don't twist at all they do seem pretty comfortable so i'm going to be keeping those on there the handbrakes are non-branded levers nothing special about these and they are coming down to phileo mechanical disc brakes with 160 millimeter rotors in both the front and the rear so as I said, these handlebars are really nice and wide. Over here on the right side of the handlebars, you have a thumb throttle for controlling the motor when you're in your different PAS levels. We have a seven speed Shimano thumb shifter, which leads down to the, I believe it's a 14 to 28 freewheel, which is pretty standard on most of these bikes. And you have your 500 watt nominal hub motor in the back. Now that hub motor in the back is powered by a 15 amp hour 48 volt battery. Not sure exactly what size the controller is. I would have to take that out and double check. If I do, I'll put it down in the description of this video what it was. For the derailleur on this bike, they're using a Shimano entry level derailleur. Nothing fancy about it, but it does work okay. On the back, they do include a nice heavy duty aluminum rack for mounting a bag on the rear. And on the back of the bike is a pretty nice brake light and it is a tail light when you pull the brake levers. Another nice feature is that they included a bottle holder, which is aluminum, and there is a nice heavy duty adjustable kickstand on this bike. The stem on this bike is adjustable up and down to accommodate different riders. I'm really glad that they kept the suspension seat post on here because that's about a 20 to $30 upgrade. The seat's pretty cushiony. It's like a gel seat and it flips up for you to get your battery in and out easily. You have the charge port here on the side of your battery. And on the other side, there is a USB port for charging your devices on the go. Now coming up the KMC chain, you have the 48 tooth chain ring in the front, which has a double-sided guard, which is nice for keeping your pants clean. And it does have a set of aluminum folding pedals, which is really nice. Right here is the latch for folding the bike in half. You just pop that open, fold it in half, fold the handlebars down, and it does fold up pretty small. However, it does still seem a little bit tall whenever it is folded. Coming down the front of the bike, the wires are wrapped nicely in a neoprene cover. It does have mounts on the front to mount a rack or a basket, which I do think that they sell on their site. LED headlight in the front, which is pretty bright, and it does include a set of plastic fenders for both the front and the rear. This bike is sitting on a set of 20 by four inch Chow Yang fat tires. And one really nice upgrade is that it has mag rims instead of spokes. So you don't have to worry about those spokes getting loose over time. All right guys, so we're gonna try this bike out on this hill. It's the steepest hill in my town. 
up top here it gets to about 14 degree slope i'm in gear one pedal assist three so this is going to give me the maximum power so far so good i'm barely putting any effort into these pedals but we're going to see how it performs up here on the steeper part If I could pull it up this one-handed with minimal effort, it's gonna be really nice. I think I'm gonna to have to put a little bit more effort into it up here though, guys. Yeah, this might be a little bit tough one-handed. I'm putting a lot of effort in now. Would have been a little bit easier with both hands. So we'll pull you up those hills. But if they're really steep, you're gonna to have to put some effort into it yourself. Seems pretty similar to the Hay Bike Mars as far as the power goes. I believe it feels pretty much identical to that. All right guys, here's the last long hill. So let's test it out on here and see how it maintains power the whole way up. I'm gonna go down in the first gear here so I can put my own power into it to help it out. And that's what I recommend doing, guys, when you're on steep hills or long hills. That way you don't burn out your motor or your controller. And that's with any bike. Plus, it gives you some pretty good exercise. Maintaining 8 miles per hour. And I'm putting some pretty decent effort in to the pedals. Let's do a little bit of throttle. Some more pedaling. So not a speed demon up these hills, but it will pull you up them with a little bit of effort. Let's go to second gear. And my legs are starting to burn just a little bit. On their website, it states that it shows you the wattage of the motor, I guess, the output. I can't find anything on there that shows me that. It would have been nice for it to show you the wattage output of it. But I think that might have been just because the I believe the hay bike Mars and the city cityscape both showed you that so maybe they just accidentally carried that information over when they set up the page for the ranger all right leveling off now here at the top all right guys so we did make it up the hill with a little bit of effort so my final thoughts on the hay bike ranger is that i think they made some really nice upgrades with the bigger 15 amp hour battery the mag rims instead of the spoke rims the included cup holder the higher speed at 25 miles per hour well 24 versus 20. i think that's some really nice upgrades compared to the mars and the cityscape the cityscape was a little bit underpowered for steep hills with the motor this has the 500 watt motor on it and step through that's another awesome feature that step through design there so in my opinion guys it's going to be a really good bike for a lot of people and like i said if you're interested after watching this video and think this bike's right for you and want to check out more details or pick one up for yourself there will be an affiliate link down below in the description with that coupon code feel free to use it and don't forget to subscribe check out my instagram and see previews of upcoming videos i will see you guys around on the next one thanks for watching everyone